And your honor has never been heard. I asked to have you, your honor, I asked you to recuse yourself for the purpose of the YouTube. That was the only reason I did it. And it was refused. But uh, yes, because I couldn't prove it under seven. <laughs> just all of a sudden just jump up and grind my feet on somebody's couch. And your honor has never been heard. I asked. No more sense than that. <laughs> yeah, I remember grinding my feet on his couch. And your honor has never been heard. I heard, and it was refused. But I asked to have you, your honor, I asked you to recuse yourself but under civil procedure. However, um, I'm requesting and objecting right now because my client has a presumption of innocence, which has been um, discouraged by showing him in prison clothes in front of a live audience of over maybe a million people. I don't know. But his presumption of innocence has been damaged because of this YouTube experience. Court is calling 2022 CR 4248A, State of Texas versus Jose Angel Ruiz. Mr. Ruiz, if you come down, please. Could our parties announce for the record and counsel you on this side? Yes. No, uh, the deputies wanted it changed for security issues. And are you Mr. Ruiz? All right, we're here on a motion to unseal documents, motions, and orders that were sealed. State, have you had a chance to review the defense's motion? All right. So defense is asking for. First. Sure. Make an objection to this the YouTube during this hearing. All right. That's denied. You're on there. There's a reason on the record. All right. Do you have a, do you have an order? I mean, sorry. Do you have a motion? I have a motion and an order. All no, right. Do you have no, no, a motion no. that's this been filed? Good. All right. So state, do you have any objection to an oral motion? Um, I, it's been it's been heard. I, I believe there it hasn't been some heard. Kind motion of, to <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, this issue has been heard. I believe there was a written motion previously, but it was ruled on. Um, I, I don't have an objection to her re urging her her motion. <laughs> All right, you can re urge your motion. And your honor has never been heard. I asked to have you, your honor, I asked you to recuse yourself for the purpose of the YouTube. That was the only reason I did it. And it was refused. But All right. And that was denied by a previous, by another judge, correct? Uh, yes, because I couldn't prove it under civil procedure. However, um, I'm requesting and objecting right now because my client has a presumption of innocence, which has been um, discouraged by showing him in prison clothes in front of a live audience of over maybe a million people, I don't know, but his presumption of innocence has been damaged because of this YouTube experience. All right, that's denied. Would my client sit in the jury box so he wouldn't be in front of the YouTube? I mean, we're here on a, a motion, so he's here or either he can sit at the table. He can either sit at the council table or he can stand here. He can sit at council table. Then. All right, so you all go back and sit at council table. All right, and off the record for a moment. And Vashon, that other person is coming back, correct? Judge, I told her to. I won't she got it. Okay, all right, thank you. Because there's somebody who's going to come down to speak with her. All right, we're back on the record. So, State, you've had a chance to review this motion? Yes. All right. State, do you have any motions that have been filed under seal? Your Honor, the District Attorney's Office, we have not filed anything under seal. I cannot speak to whether there was maybe an outside party who was complying with the subpoena for the defense that sent out, but nothing as far as um, the state of Texas in our capacity from the District Attorney's Office has been filed under seal. All right, so defense, who has filed motions under seal? I don't know, Your Honor. I'm, I, only, I only have access to the um, public computer that the rest of the public has, off, has access to. It shows a sealed, two sealed documents with different numbers attached to them on October 31st. It includes also two sealed motions. Now, it's my understanding that uh, my co-counsel, Ms. Stephron, filed motions for uh, payments for Mitigation Is experts. There a microphone on? I could, I'm sorry. There's a little bit of stretch. I, I didn't hear the name, Ms. Who? Uh, 
Does that work, Ms. Carrero? Yes. Oh, when I'm talking. Okay. I didn't hear the name okay. of the person you said co-counsel. There are, my co-counsel is... It's on. It's really for more to turn it on. Oh, it just stayed on? Okay. My co-counsel is Lorraine Efron and she filed motions. I know for uh, fees for the various people that are attached to our case. Um, and and really so, sure uh, just one October second. 31st. Just one second. So let's start with this first one you're talking about. October 1st, 2023. Is that a motion that the defense filed that you want unsealed? Not necessarily. You might found out it's an it is a defense. Unfortunately, your honor, what we received on the computer. I made copies for myself, not for anybody else. But when I received on the computer, no mentions a motion and order filed. I don't know who files it. We don't always know. Miss um, Miss Mitchell uh, has been helpful as much as she can be, but I'm not sure. The reason for this um, particular motion for to open unseal was because of when the plea was entered. No, 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 let me stop you. This is my question. So October 31st, 2023, are you asking that that motion, whatever it be, even if it's a motion that was filed by the defense for your expert or whatever, you want it unsealed? Yes, Your Honor. State, do you have any objection to unsealing a motion that was filed on October 31st? No. And to the clerk, are you able to look and see who filed that motion? No, Judge, only my supervisors. Okay. I don't have access to see the motion. All right. November 1st, 2023. Just State, is that your motion? Sealed motion in order. I don't know what it is. No, that was not our motion. Okay. November 15th, 2023. State, is that your motion? No, Your Honor. November 16th, 2023. Is that your motion? No, Your Honor. November 22nd, 2023 state. Is that your motion? All right. And what other dates on here? Cause you mentioned any other dates unknown to movement movement. Well, I have the, at my wherefore paragraph, any other motions and orders in the interest of justice that are under seal. The reason for this is because during the plea of Katrina Mendoza, the co-defendant on August 7th, after she entered her plea, we turned off the YouTube and you had a private conference with the defense counsel and state, and there's no record of it. And so I'm wondering, is there an order there somewhere? I don't know. I don't know what happened in that in that conference. Um, YouTube was turned on again when your conference was over. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know what went on with it. Well, Under if people would have been in courtroom that day, they probably would have heard what went on. But you're asking for any other dates unknown to movement. You, you are not asking for orders. For the any other dates, or are you? I unseal any and all documents, motions, and orders in the interest of justice. All right. So, what I will do, state, if you have no objections, I will grant the motion to unseal the motions that she's asking to be unsealed, and I'll do an in-camera inspection because I don't know what these motions were sealed as to. I don't know if it's something that everyone is supposed to see or not, I because see. I don't know what it is. Your Honor, I, I just pulled up the co-defendants, cause number 2022CR 4248B, and it looks like a lot of the dates she listed do correspond to what appears to be sealed motions in that case. So perhaps she's referring to, um, I, refer I believe the de defense counsel is Todd McRae. I don't know if he needs to be here. Yes, he would need to be here. If these are motions that you're asking to be unsealed and they're in the co-defendant's case and it's motions that that defense attorney has filed on behalf of their client, you may not be entitled to have those motions unsealed. Is that a ruling, Your Honor, or are we going to have another hearing on this? Oh, we're going to have a hearing and, and uh, Mr. McRae will be here. And Mr. Okay. McRae may have an objection to the unsealing of motions that were filed in his case, perhaps by him, perhaps by the state. So this is the court's ruling with regards to the October 31st, 2023, November 1st, 2023, November 15th, 2023, November 16th, 2023, and November 22nd, 2023, and any other dates unknown to the movement. Court is rescinding any rulings that were made previously because the court assumed that these were documents 
that were filed in your client's cause number and not the co-defendant's cause number. So what will end up happening is the attorney in that case will be here and that attorney can raise objections if he so choose to having documents that he may have filed on behalf of his client and their cause number. What I was quoting you was all their cause number. It's the same cause number, it's just an A or B difference. No, but here's the thing. If that defense attorney, Mr. McRae, filed sealed motions for his client, it may be experts for his clients, and he may not want those unsealed. And the question becomes whether or not you are allowed to unseal or have unsealed sealed motions that he has filed that, for example, if he hired an expert for his client and he does not want the state or you to know what the findings are of his experts, he has the right to keep that sealed. So he needs to be here to see if he has any objection. And I made my ruling previously thinking that these dates were dates that were under your cause number, but the state is telling me that these are dates under the co-defendant's cause numbers and not your own. That's true. Oh, well then Mr. McCray needs to be here. Probably for the next one as well. I'm asking a copy of, for a copy of the PSI for Katrina Mendoza. No, with regards to the PSI, Mr. McCray has no ability to object to your seeing the co-defendant's PSI. That is an order that you need to have her to see if probation will allow you to view that. I have to file another motion in order on yes. that? Yes. Thank you. The other thing I'm asking for is a transcript of the witnesses that the state intends to call at time of trial. What transcript? Transcripts of, their, of the statements. The child who was uh, a sister of our deceased Mercedes Lasoya is listed as a witness. Well, we'd if like they, her, if we'd like her a transcript of that, as well as anybody else, they're going to call as a witness. When you they say transcript, it. was there a testimony? Are you talking about them statements. speaking to the police? Vol voluntary statements. All right. If they have statements, it should be in your discovery. It's not this. It's we are, did not get a copy at all of Jordan, young Jordan. She's a, she was six years old at the time. She's about eight now. It's a forensic interview, Your Honor. The disc has been in the file. The state has given defense counsel act. Actually, I brought the file down to court for multiple days for defense counsel to view with a with a separate clean computer. It, yes, we've made it accessible. Look, yes, technically they did, Your Honor, along with three thousand plus other issue in areas of discovery. Um, personally, I put in close to $200, 200 hours out of court, just me. Lorraine has a whole, Lorraine Ephron has a whole nother bunch of, of hours. Out of that, I would like to request a transcript of Jordan's, rather than just her testimony, a transcript of it. I'm going to take a transcript. All right. So let me ask you this. This statement, was this statement made, this alleged statement, was it made in English? It's made in English. Yes. All right. Then you all need to view it. The state, the state has given you opportunity to view it. I know that in this court, and if I'm wrong, correct me. I think during the holiday, I want to say November Thanksgiving, I had the deputies have your client brought over and for you all to watch the video. So I'm not ordering them to make to transcribe a video. You need to watch it with your client. And the court has made the courtroom accessible for you all to do that. I'm not going to order them to have somebody transcribe a video that is in English. I'm going to take a transcript of the trial to the Judicial Conduct Board and ask that they impeach your ass. Your Honor, excuse me, but um, we were never presented in court. And I thank you for the time you did give us. But for over 3,000 bits of discovery, which is a two inch, it's two inches thick. When we ultimately file our 3914 motion, when we ultimately file, it's about two inches thick. We did get to see videos. We got to see certain statements. We never got to see Jordan's. We have to go to the office to see that. And, and it, I'm requesting an actual transcript of her voluntary All right, statement. that's going to be denied for them to do a transcript. Uh, Deputy Lord Deputy Mejia, is he able to come over here Wednesday to view a video?
They will bring him over Wednesday to view a video. Uh, uh, Jordan. Uh, there's multiple. I can bring them all over. All right. In particular, that one. She just wants Jordan's. Is that correct? That's that's fine. I've no, no, no. I've had an opportunity to view the statements. Over. Now, my question is, do you just want them to bring Jordan's statement over? That's fine. Yes, Your Honor. All right. So she just wants Jordan. And Mr. Ruiz will bring you back Wednesday and you can see the video. Your Honor, I have two other things that are not. One of them is from an order that Judge Harl granted back on August 28th. It was about the medical examiner. Um, she was subpoenaed pursuant to that order to be here on a given date. And she didn't show up. Uh, she had some other reason. Um, there are. There, she sent instead a pile about an inch thick of papers that weren't sealed, weren't, weren't excuse me, not sealed, but were not uh, attached with a rubber band. And when I was reviewing them, I realized there was no certification of uh, the records custodian as to the validity of those documents. So I would just, I'm going to do myself with your permission, write a letter and ask for this custodian to send us another packet that has been notarized, um, if, if you're all right with that. Oh, I'm not in charge of, of that at all. Your Honor, I, I do have a brief response to that just because um, Dr. Molina is, um, she's very responsible and she does stay on top of her things. She was in contact with me uh, that day and um, she had prior obligations, but she did send her assistant with all of the documentation that they had. To it was just a, a subpoena to bring documentation, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. um, they brought the, the documentation and then when um, we were conferring um, just in court that it, it was it was acknowledged that really they just need Dr. Molina for a 705 at trial. So that's why she did not appear. But we tried to do it beforehand in the interest of, of uh, economy of the court. Uh, even still, the fact that the documents were presented loose with no certification by the records custodian, how can we possibly use those records? I'm just asking that we get another copy certified by the records custodian before we go to trial. All right. I'm not going to, to order that. If you all want something, you just pick up the phone, call the ME. You said you've already subpoenaed her in the records. Then that subpoena is still in place. Thank you. And one other thing, Your Honor, you referred, because um, I don't have, I wasn't in this case until a year after it began, and I would like to get a copy of judge's notes in the file with your permission. Sure. Here's the docket sheet. The notes are on there and it's this it's record is public. As, excuse me, Your Honor, I don't believe it's the same as the actual notes that are in the file. The, this is the entire file. This is the court's, this file here, this is the court's file. I don't have anything else. You if it's not anything? in this file, it doesn't exist. There's nothing written in the file, in other words. It's all on the, that. It's the paper. docket sheet. I write everything down on the docket sheet and any orders or motions or any letters that have been received by, from the jail by your client, it's in here. This is the court's file. So if I can get a copy of that, you're talking about. The oh, we're not. Sheet. Here's the thing. This. We're not going to have the copy machine at back and use the copy machine for you to make copies on this. You're more than welcome to write down whatever you want to write down from it. You're more than welcome to do that. Can I send somebody to do that? Or can I send a, a records copier company to come and copy that? Here's the issue with that. This is a legal document. This document, this file. The custodian of this file, technically and legally, is the district clerk's office. So you would have to clear that with the district clerk off office if they would let some outside party come in, take this file apart, and get copies of it. But in there is the year before I was appointed. It has all the comments that the court made. Is that correct? What is in here is what is in here. February 7th was the arrest date, it was the date of Mercedes' death. I was appointed and actually activated in, in um, April, April 2nd. Um, there's, that whole year took place. Lorraine was replaced by Debbie Burke, who was hired and then um, withdrew. 
Debbie was in, uh, Mrs. Burke was involved for nine months. I don't know what happened during that time. I don't know what orders the court made. I don't, I don't want to run afoul of anything. It is on the docket sheet and any motions that were filed that are not under seal are in this file. And anything, any orders that were heard are in this file. If it's not in this file, that means that it's not in this file and no order was heard. Okay, thank you. And can I have the same access to Katrina Mendoza's file? I'm not in charge. Technically, they're all the, technically here's the thing, and I want people to hear me clearly because maybe I'm not communicating properly. These files are the court's files. And when I say court's file, I don't mean they're Stephanie Boyd's files. I mean, these are the files to the 187 district court. The custodian over these files are the district clerk. If anybody wants some inside party to come in to copy the, this, this file, you need to speak to the district clerk about it and see whether or not they are allowed to come in to make a copy of the file. I am not the custodian of the records of the file. Do I write things in the file on the docket sheet? Yes, I do, but I'm not the custodian of records. So if you want to bring some third party in to make a copy of John Doe's file, Amy Doe's file, whoever it may be, that needs to be cleared with the district clerk's office because they are the custodian of records of these files. I am not. Okay. And what I can tell you is the normal practice in this court if there is a hearing held, if I give a ruling on something, I write it on the docket sheet. That's where we are. I know about you. You couldn't hack it as a lawyer. You were a bag man for the boys downtown. You still are. I know about you. Are you done? You're damn right I'm done. I'm going to ask for a mistrial. <laughs> that would be all. Thank you, Ernest. All right. So, Miss Ferguson. All right. We need another hearing. Date. Does anyone have any objection to the court calling Todd McRae? See if he answers so that we can yes, have a setting on whether or not he has trade. any objections to the motions in his client's case that were still being open or unsealed. I, 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 I,